basically covered the cob wall with the spray coat and the render gun uh, it penetrates it right into every crack and everything to get a better adhesion to the wall and leaving a spiky finish for the next coat to go on to level out um, it's far better to spray onto a cob wall like this to get it to stick than what it is to put it by hand and how old was this cob wall Tony? Oh, probably four or five hundred years old I should think So now we're at phase two, Tony, what exactly are you doing right now on top of the, the first scratch coat? Oh, we're laying on a waterproof coat for the surface now, which will be levelled out, floated up with a plastic float, and then sponged off with a sponge, and then finished, like you'll see on the gable end in a minute. Right, this is the finished process. This is the top coat which we stuck on yesterday. It's been floated up with a plastic float and sponged out with a sponge. And now it's ready drying out for the painters to come along and put their coats of paint on it. This is the 500 year cob wall we started the video with. It's now finished. Three coats applied to this and painted by the painters after about a week. Uh, now done completely. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for visiting devonplasters.com. I hope you enjoyed our video. For any more information and inquiries, please feel free to ring the number down below or leave a message on our contact form and we'll get straight back to you. Thank you.